Maiden Arts London is a new creative enterprise from the University of the Arts that aims to promote and sell emerging artists work. So we take in a spread of current students and also recent graduates work from all across the university. So it can be anything from fine art to painting, to sculpture, to ceramics, to even prints or co comics or newspapers. It can be anything. Uh, Made in Arts London was set up through the Students' Union um, in the wake of the cuts and the tuition fee protests of 2010. The National Union of Students decided that it would be important to, for not only students but also universities to start thinking about how they could in innovatise their revenue streams. It launched in March 2012 um, and we basically sell products, profile artists and all of the money that we make from sales goes directly back into it. So we do things like workshops, we also do um, training, we'll do events, and kind of we ask the artists what they want and we're really discovering that there's lots and lots of gaps in the curriculum that are kind of not being filled, even though they're vocational courses. Um, like commercialisation has always been a bit of a tricky word in the art field, but I think more and more people are realising that it's good, you have to make money somehow, and why not do it through your creativity? I think uh, Made in Arts is an amazing organisation, since uh, with all the you know creative courses around the UAL, it's not really easy for art students to get the attention they deserve and to break into the art market. And Made in Arts is an amazing organisation among all the other uni organisations that help students to um, basically network with the industries. The main opportunities that we Made in Arts London offers are just promotion really. Um, that's the main the key drive, is for students to be selling, getting their work out there and selling their work. Um, lots of students have to wait until the degree shows when it's quite a difficult time, there's lots and lots of other people to compete and it's basically, although you have an um, audience, you have to shout really loudly and it's not always the best way to promote your work. Um, so we basically offer students a platform throughout the year and recent graduates who have maybe had a bit of success and then dropped dramatically. Like the first year when you graduate everyone always says it's the hardest, particularly in the art field where often you have to leave your practice behind because you have to get a job to pay your rent and you're no longer getting the kind of things like student loans and things like that. So often that's the time that we really want to be there to help people be that platform. Made in Arts London is preliminarily a website, madeinartslondon.com, which um, we have lots and lots of features such as a blog where we do interviews so people can actually meet the young artists and hear their stories. Um, we also have advice on selling their artwork if students or recent graduates want to approach us. And then our other platform is our online shop. We have a partnership with Culture Label, um, which is basically where anyone can go and see the work. I think that Made in Arts and a website and Made in Arts Culture Label website, they just give you the chance to bring home these amazing artworks that you'll never have the chance to get in other, any other way. And there's this uh, process and this uh, approach of, you know, approaching art, which is living it and not just admiring it. The main part of the project really is just expanding our contact with artists. And it's kind of our fourth month now and already it's very, very clear that there are big gaps in people's knowledge and experience and so it's really important just the kind of being interviewed for example or having to write an artist statement a lot of students and graduates find that quite a difficult process to do and the more we seem to go the more we realise that we have a role to play but long term we really want to get offline and do more events we've already had one really successful pop-up shop at the Minia Gallery where we had workshops and events and print sales and we'd just like to do more and more of that and so Hopefully we'll be rolling it out to other galleries, other events um, and really coming around to the campuses because the main thing I think is the tactility of art and also the engagement between emerging artists and the public is something that would be really special rather than it always being a kind of closed entity of a, a degree show or a, a website that you have to know about. It's really good to actually get people engaging with each other and starting collaborations and nurturing. UAR has a great history, lots and lots of notable alumni including people like Gilbert and George, Stella McCartney, um, Anish Kapoor, James Dyson, people that have really innovated and changed the way that people have lived or people have viewed not just art but life in general and we just think it's important to take the next generation and start helping them now because it's not the opportunities they used to be. Yeah.